video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can modify a movie or MOV file, MP4, etc., in Photoshop. It's not particularly After Effects, but you can do quite a bit. So, File and Open, and just select the MP4 or movie file. Now, I've already done that. Key thing here timeline. So, Window and Timeline. And once you've got the timeline, you just see you've got this video group and you've got, got various options like position, opacity, style. Now what you can do, just click here, just click that and then move that along the little header there and you can say maybe position it there and you'll see another keyframe appears. Right, I don't particularly want that, but I'm just going to just go back. Now, what you can also do, and I must admit it's much better, and sadly, Unfortunately, you can't actually modify the uh, effects over time. But anyway, so just go to Layer and Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. Once you've actually got that, what you can do, you can see Video Group now includes Transform. So you can create some interesting distorts and things. Now, what you can do also is filter, and with Smart Objects, you can put Smart Filters. So you can just go to Stylize, Oil Paint, or Edges, etc. So do that. I'm just going to quickly go edges. So filter, stylized, and find edges. And you can see that effect. And that's added over there. And that runs across the whole film. So that effect is added all the way through. You can't modify the settings, unfortunately. It'd be great if you could, but you can't. So what you can do, another great thing, is also adjustments. So you can actually just go for, say, like a gradient, gradient map and what you can do, add different ones, and you can go for different color effects. This sort of thing is great, these lines. So click OK at this point, and now you've got this really extreme abstract color design. What you can do, just quickly go through, so you can see it modifying as you go through. And of course you can then render that to a video. So you just go over to the, just go over here, render video, and just save it as a new MP4. You just run through all the way, and it just will create a really great, interesting effect. Now, I'm going to remove that. The next thing you can do, you can do obviously lots more than this. I'm just going to basic sort of thing. This is part of a video group. I don't want it to be a video group. I want it actually out of that group. So I'm just going to just drag that up and move that, because if you do it there when it's in a video group and you add a new layer, it adds it along, along, along this line, the timeline. I don't want that. I want it actually to be another layer. So I'm just at this point, I'm just going to quickly go to, and there's a smart object. So a key thing about smart object, you can do transform and you can do distort. So you can actually distort the video. So you can just create a nice, interesting distortion. Go back and stretch it out like that. Now, this is applied again over the whole timeline. So you can see the video effect nicely, sort of like three-dimensional video effect. Now, once you've got that, also, of course, by moving it out of that video group, what you can do, duplicate layer, click OK. And you can see, you can now, again, duplicate layer. Instead of getting it appearing along the end, you can actually just create multiple copies and click OK. And of course you could have video effects and other effects added in as well. And now what you can do, you can see the video effect appearing like that. It's a bit slow, obviously it's processing the video effect, but you can see this effect. Now you could of course apply different transforms, you can maybe have it rotated differently, etc. Maybe different effects for each of the layers. So, and of course what you can do, and I'm just going to apply that. Blending modes maybe, just go over here to layers, you can just say darken or lighten, and so on and so on. There's a whole range of them, or difference even, if you want maybe more colour extreme effects, and you can see the effect there. Right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.